to uh, people right around the country, of course, thinking about those people in tropical North Queensland. In the meantime, two of the grand dames of Australia's corporate scene are in play. One, Fairfax Media, a 185 years old and publisher of The Age, The Sydney Morning Herald and The Financial Review. Its main business now is the real estate website Domain. The Fin Reviews reporting private equity player TPG has quietly accumulated 4.9% of the shares, so watch that space. The other grand dame is Maya, 117 years old. It looks like a takeover play worth around a billion dollars. And all fingers are pointing at this man, one of the country's best retailers, the redoubtable Solomon Liu, who has plenty of history himself. Now, since the onslaught of foreign retailers to Australia, think Zara, H&M, Topshop, Uniqlo, Australia's department stores have done it tougher. Maya's performance last year, well, it was OK, but recently it's been losing money. And shares are among the most heavily shorted on the stock market. The trend you can see is down. But on Monday, they jumped 18% to $1.26 as a block of shares, 9.8% of the company, changed hands. Yesterday, they fell 5% as the mystery buyer remained hidden. There's no confirmation Lewis behind the deal, but the broker used Pershing as the same he used to buy 10% of David Jones before it was bought by Woolworths of South Africa. Lou made $190 million profit in that deal. And there's more. Solomon Lou was formerly Coles Myers chairman when they were together. He was the biggest shareholder. His business, Premier Retail, includes brands Just Jeans, Portman's, Peter Alexander and Dotty. But the jewel is Smiggle, the hottest kids stationery brand in Australia that Lou's now taken to the world. There's something else. The man running Lou's business is Mark McGuinness, the former David Jones boss, considered one of the very best retailers in the land. Now, we'll find out shortly if the speculation's correct, if there's a full takeover, or they just grab control with a minority stake. But mark my words, our retail landscape is changing very quickly. Let's have a quick look at the markets this morning and what we can see right now. The dollar, 76.34 US cents. It's up slightly overnight. If we go further forward on commodity markets, you can see the oil price sitting here, $48.38 US a barrel. Gold price is down. The Dow Jones index of US shares has had a big night, up by 160 points, just as we had a big night day on the stock market yesterday. The All Ordinaries index up by 71 points.